episode 40? Is it 40? Let me check. <laughs> oh, let's see. Yes, number 40. I have finally left the 30s. I don't think I said that when I turned 40 myself. <laughs> it is Tuesday today. I'm a day late, so I apologize for that. Um, it is the 24th of August. I went back to work yesterday and I was just beat. You know, I was so tired when I got home. My daughter had some homework I needed to help her with, you know, it was dinner, I wanted to stitch some, and then time was up. So, very sorry, but I'm here now. <laughs> and um, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. So, <clears throat> first of all, I want to say thanks to the two ladies who had has uh, giving, given me some cups of coffee uh, to support my channel um, and it is Lynn and Susan so thank you thank you thank you it is very appreciated it's not needed it's just very appreciated and it's very nice to you know, uh, to know that you guys believe in me and my channel and everything that uh, you guys give me is going right back into cross stitching and the channel, which I will show you. I show you as much as, you know, as much as I can. And I hope you guys like that. So thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and I've uh, gotten a big bump in subscribers and a lot of comments. Um, I think, you know, the, the video mania uh, I did last week with all the Mirabilia stash and my patterns and my whip parade uh, earlier this summer. Uh, you guys have enjoyed that and a lot of you have given me comments which I love which I love and I have been I've tried to answer all of them I hope I haven't missed anyone uh, if I have I'm really sorry I really tried to go through everyone and if you reply to that I try to to uh, go through them as well so thank you thank you thank you thank you very much and, and welcome to all the new subscribers by the way uh, it is a little bit chaotic here I do ramble a lot, um, but I love talking about cross stitching, so it's very difficult to stop. <laughs> so yeah, um, I have tried to put some notes in my book. I can show you. This is my planner. I sometimes plan and then I regret and yeah. Um, how do we start this? We are, of course, going to look at my whips and then we will talk a little bit of the plans and then we will um, look at a little bit of haul. One of them is my beauty who will save the world. Um, and uh, yeah, and then... Uh, Let's not talk too much of what's gonna come because I might forget it. So, whips, whips, whips. Um, I joined the 100 days of heaven and earth. Um, and I have stuck to it these past two weeks. I've been you know, the goal was 50 stitches a day, and some days I stitched like 48, some days I've stitched 200. So since the last time until now, I have stitched about 1,400 stitches. And this is also my focus piece for the year, which uh, I want to reach 21,000 stitches in 20, you know, the year 2021. And that is the full coverage Fanatics challenge. 
and I'm getting very very close um, so I think I have max 1000 stitches to go so I will show you soft as steel here this is the the whole image um, I started her like in the middle but what I've been stitching is yeah the top part so I'm working like downwards I want to connect these two parts so but um, so this is stitched on 27 count Linda uh, I'm using DMC threads uh, I'm stitching one over one full cross it is a heaven and earth design and the the, the artist is Julie Bell Vallejo but as penguin stitching stitchy penguin um, talked with me about this could actually be uh, Julie Bell's husband or partner Vallejo I don't remember his fir first name but so I usually say Julie Bell Vallejo because yeah amazing art <clears throat> so I think maybe a thousand stitches left And I'm battling a little bit with should I continue with my softest steel for the rest of the year and see how far I get? Should I give it like a, a total month just you know to stitch as much as, as much as possible before the new year? Or um once I get to to 21,000 stitches, should I just, you know, put it down and grab another full coverage piece as a focus piece where I stitch 50 to 100 stitches a day. So that's what I'm thinking about. I don't know. It is getting boring to just stitch background. So... <clears throat> What did I stitch the first week? Hmm. I wanted to stitch my Mirabilia, right? Right. And I turned the wheel the last time because earlier I have been stitching Mirabilia and Chatelaine once a week. And now I felt like I wanted to get some progress on them since I've been having a vacation. Um, so I turned the wheel and it landed on Amazing Animals uh, Kingdom, which is great. Uh, so I stitched on that for uh, one day, uh, two weeks ago. Uh, but I picked it up yesterday, no, two days ago again. So I've been stitching just a little bit. But now this ring light is very bright. Um, So, uh, I think I stitched a little bit more here. I stitched, Jesus, I wanted them to be in the back so you don't have the threads in the way. I have stitched 900 stitches since the last time. And this is this area. I also made a, a stitch in chat where I stitch on this. Did I do that or was it the once upon a fair time? Never mind, I don't know. Um, so 900 stitches, 800 that one day where I had vacation and then Sunday evening I stitched 100 stitches. So this is how it looks and it is the bottom right corner of the Amazing Animal Kingdom. I'm stitching it on 25 count 
DMC thread 1 over 1 full cross and I'm using like cross country stitching over a 20 by 30 grid area and then I park so I get a little bit of both and I love it uh, it works for me um, I usually start in the top left corner and work myself downwards or to the left but I wanted something different and this is also a cell which I'm together me and together with cat with in the cat talks we host this uh, cell and we used the hashtags which will come here you will also find them in the description box below and we tag uh, use those tags on Instagram I know you can also tag Kat, Catherine, um, if you want her to show your progress on her floss tube. So I would do that if I were you and if I'm stitching this one. <coughs> so that's that. This is also a heaven and earth design. And the artist is Amy Stewart. Um, it is supersized with the max colors. I love supersized and max colors and these are like the reindeer's feet so I'm enjoying this um, yeah let's continue so the first week I stitched for seven days my mirabilia where is she here she is Where's my, oh, here. I stitched my Mirabilia. And I was supposed to stop a little bit earlier, like a day early, after like I've stitched six days. But I was so close. She's not finished, so don't get your hopes up. I, I'm not that fast. No, I'm not that fast. Um, and I just had to keep going, but then I was fed up. Yeah, then I was fed up. For now, because I want to stitch her more now again, you know, so I'll be getting back to her pretty soon. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? So, ta-da! beautiful the dress is very beautiful so after six days I had like uh, this black stuff left I think that's the only thing I had and and the beading um, I needed to be the flowers and the bottom of the dress um, so I had to I had to continue but now the dress is finished and my next step is to start on her skin arm and face and hair and then i have the big border left i think i'm gonna die of boredom stitching that border but i don't know if you can see the beads no you know there's not a lot of beads um in this design at all and there's no chronic so i'm stitching this on 28 count even weave it's a hand dyed hand dyed fabric from um crafty kitten it's called moss ruin and i'm using the dmc threads and there's some um, the brown threads here that's water lilies water lilies the word i have it's so difficult to say feels like I have a big potato in my mouth you know <laughs> um, anyway um, what else yes it's on 28 count and you guys it's heavy I'm getting tired in my arms but this this color there's four skeins 
of DMC. That's 9.15. And I was like, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. But it wasn't. I ran out of color. I think I ran out of maybe six, like a thread from the skein, a double thread. That, that's what I had left because I had been frogging a little bit, but it was obvious that the threads were counted for a 32 count and I'm stitching it on 28 count. So I'm saying if you're going to stitch Lady of Mystery, as her name is, and if you're fine with 32 counts, you know, with your eyes and stuff, I would definitely go for the 32 count because there's no Krennic. It's, you know, DMC and Water Lilies. There's only the, you know, the small C beads or petite, the beading are small. It's not heavy. There's like one, 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 one. So they're not clutched together. So don't stitch it <laughs> on 28 count or get some more thread. And some of you guys were so sweet when I put out the picture on Instagram and that I have, you know, run out of 915. Uh, you, some of you wanted to go get me some. It's very sweet of you because I didn't have any in my stash. Um, but, you know, I was like, well, I will just order from Purikoyen.se, you know, in Sweden. Uh, she's so super fast. Um, and we have a hobby store who has these threads but it costs like three dollars i think for a skein so <clears throat> it's just when it's an emergency but while i think it was was it the next day when i was stitching on my softest steel i realized i had 915 in the box and she had an extra skein so what i will do is i will probably you know just get one of one of the other skeins, skeins. And there you can see no color difference. So I was lucky. But I ran out of the other color as well. This one, the lighter one. And I, I had that. I was lucky I had that in my stash. But I ran out, out of two colors. And now I'm afraid that I'm going to run out of the water lilies as well. So that is also a reason why I want to get to the hair. Because I think there's some of that in her hair so then maybe I can figure something about something out in the barn anyway my god I'm rambling Mirabilia Lady of Mystery I started her started her this year 28 count <laughs> yeah so I want to get back to her. I was thinking of stitching her skin with silk threads because I'm going to do one over one. Uh, but then I was like, no, I will do the DMC because I have, you know, I bought the kit, I think. Anyway, I have those threads in my kit. And um, I was thinking about that. But then I was thinking it would be nice to do one over no two over one but tent stitching as the skins that looks pretty nice too but then usually when i do tent stitch i always lay my threads like when i lay my first leg when it's a full cross and if the tent stitching on the mirabilia would is going to you know um be equal match up match up with the full crosses I've made I need to do it like the second leg when I do a full, full cross stitch and my brain might not do that correctly so I'm afraid it will just mess up so I will I think I will just do like a full cross one over one I think that's gonna be lovely yes so after a break I'm looking forward to getting back to Mirabilia the second week, yes. Um, 
my second week I started out with stitching on Once Upon a Fairy Tale and I stitched on that for three days and I got a total of about 2,000 stitches. Please remember I have been having a holiday so I've had long days just stitching so that is why I have so much progress and <clears throat> still have it in my queue snap this is my progress I have stitched on this part during those three days and I was so happy to get to the greeneries here I knew there was going to be a bush but I thought it was going to be a big bush so I'm a little bit disappointed but I found you know the shelves so my goal this year is to reach to this part you know because then it's time to move the q snap so that is my goal but this looks so amazing in the viewfinder i mean oh, this lamp i love it but there is a lot of you know purple and grays all you know the colors here and even on this guy and in the rock here it's the same <laughs> it's the same you know yeah but very nice so I'm stitching this on 25 count uh, one over one full cross I'm using DMC threads the artist is the amazing Amy Stewart and uh, it is charted by heaven and earth designs And I'm stitching the max color supersized. So for three days and then I had three days before it was time to get back to work and I was thinking I need to stitch on my Chatelaine Poison Garden Mandela which I did for three days and it's looking so beautiful Okay, here we go. And it's going to be very white, so I don't know if I have to turn down the, the light here. So I'm gonna see if I can show you the whole, it's so big now, so I won't fit the whole thing. Can you guys see the whole thing? I think so, maybe not. Oh, I love this piece. I'll try to unroll it a little bit so I think I had stitched this part and a little bit up here on this arch the last time so I finished this oh the poison skull so cool and yeah I finished the three arches and I finished the, the cross stitching here in this arch so and then I started with all the greens here in the middle so I need to stitch the flower so I'm looking forward to doing that uh, that's my goal to finish that flower and oops I'm sorry I touched the microphone and I need to do the beading the back stitching and all the specialty stitches um, before this section is done and you know pictures and you know films that will never ever do all the sparkling stuff in a shuttling justice never Ugh. 
it's like watching smog's treasure, you know. It's very beautiful. <clears throat> I'm stitching it on 28 count even weave white. I wish it was opalescent. Opal. Opalescent? Yeah. Uh, but it's not. So, boo hoo, Linda. <laughs> Yeah, I still love it. And I'm so afraid I'm gonna, you know, drop some coffee on it or it's going to be stained in any way. I'm so afraid of that. So, Ch Chatelaine by Martina. What's her last name? Rosenberg? I don't know. Um, I bought the kit for my poison garden from European uh, Cross Stitch Company. So three days for that. And you know, Chatelaine's. If you want to spoil yourself, go get one. So that was my whips. Let's talk about progress. No, plans. It's called plan. I talked to you guys on my stitching chat about, you know, I, I wanted the perfect rotation. I've been thinking a little bit about it. I think I'm going to try the different rotations I was talking about. It, I think it would be nice to actually try them uh, to see if, you know, it's something I like. Um, I was thinking, well, why not just stitch on whatever you like for as long as you know you want. And I know at some point you get a bit tired of it and you need to switch to something else. But, you know, then I have to choose between all my full coverage pieces. I don't know how it's going to be possible to do that. And then, well, then I'm thinking, well, then it's the wheel. But at the same time, I want to stitch on my amazing animal. Uh, I have watched cats progress and the zebra butt and the cheetah looks so amazing. And the books with the golden backs are just so amazing. So I'm feeling like I, when I saw her video, I was like, I need to get back to my animal, uh, amazing animals. So I picked it up and I love my once upon a fairy tale. I don't want to stop. I, yeah. So either I will just jump between those for the full coverage, but I can because I want to stitch all the things, you know? So we'll see. I don't know. I will just the coming week I will stitch on my amazing animals and I guess um, if I don't I don't think I'm gonna get bored but I do have maybe one or two days off now during you know in connection with the weekend yeah I'm back from holiday I'm already off work again but that's because I'm a sh I'm on a schedule and I work weekends so that's why it's like that uh, so I might do some switching or jump over to Mirabilia and start her skin because I'm really excited about that. And I'm not close to finish with Mirabilia, but it is much closer now when I'm done with the big dress. So, um, so maybe, um, I will not spin the full coverage wheel this time. So it will be Amazing Animals, Once Upon a Fairy Tale, my Mirabilia, and maybe a day for my Chatelaine. Um, if I feel like stitching another full coverage, I will probably, probably, probably <laughs> do a new start. Um, because I've, I uh, was very enabled by uh, Darren at This Is Stitcher. Uh, he's stitching the North American Mammals, uh, which I got 
max size, super size, max colors, yes. So I've kitted that up and I really want, I won't start that. So I will start that if I want to switch out any of the full coverage pieces. Um, however, however, since we're talking plants and I want to stitch all the things, <clears throat> um, we're getting into September and some call this sampler September and I have a sampler and Morrison which is nagging me a little bit because I'm stitching this on 46 count one over two is very small and it is challenging for me. I think you've seen this stitch along, uh, but I'm on the uh, Algerian eyelets, which I enjoy stitching. So I would like to actually give this sampler some time because it is very beauty beautiful. It's a Scottish -ish sampler. And you know me and Scotland and Outlander, so it would be very nice to have this done. Uh, and actually maybe have a goal to finish the letters on this, the eyelet letters. So I, I think I will give this like Fridays or something. Uh, I know I'm, I'm working a weekend here soon and I usually work on this um, either, you know, on my lunch breaks. So that's, that's actually a plan. And also in September, on the 11th, 11th of September, it is now, it is 20 years ago, right? And Stitching Moon is having like a stitch along for 9-11. And I told her I, I'm going to join you on stitching on something 9-11 uh, related on the 9th, 11th of September, which is a Saturday and I'm working that day, unfortunately, but at least that weekend. I told her I wanted to start my mini fall in Central Park uh, by Kincaid. It's in heaven and earth design. I will put a picture up here uh, with my CXC, CX thread stitching it 10 stitching on 25 count that was the plan uh, so I think I will do that because it is Central Park in New York and in the background in my eyes that's the towers behind there so I would like to stitch that um, so that's also a plan it seems like I'm gonna stitch on all the things but it, the 11th of September isn't just yet I uh, maybe it has just gone by before my next floss tube okay so that's the plans did anyone <laughs> you know get what I'm gonna stitch on because I hardly did it myself amazing animals uh, amazing animal kingdom my mirabilia focus pieces if I get bored of any of them once upon a fairy tale stitch a little bit more of that give a day to a chatelaine, give a day or two to my sampler and start my fall, Central Park in the fall. Yeah. And um, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, if I remember, I will add the, the tag that uh, Stitching Moon, her name is Megan, by the way, uh, is going to use. But if I don't, I really suggest that you head over to her channel and watch her floss tube. I think she has three episodes. She's a very nice lady. She's an American in the most 
beautiful place in Norway. Amazing. Amazing. I'm so jealous. I would love to live there. <laughs> um, so yeah, and head over to check out uh, Kat's floss tube. Her latest floss tube was really cool. She had made, made it so cool vlog style with stitching and cooking and cleaning and going in the bus with uh, your uh, mask and a little bit of a story on not so good to forget your you know pin code for your credit card <laughs> uh, or bank card uh, so head over to her if you're crazy about mirabilia as i am i would really and especially fabric head over to lee stitch uh, she and gwen and her little brother and gwen's little brother ian uh, is having such a familiar loving floss tube and she's showing she's showing just you know fabrics and chatelaines and full coverage pieces and it's great fun head over there if you like to watch this you know family uh, stitchers where they invite their kids to join head over to Crazy's Croft House. She always has a great story to tell. I mean, that family knows how to make an adventure of daily life. No, I really like it. It's very like welcoming and I enjoy that. I wish I could do the same thing with my daughter, but she doesn't want to stitch. Um, yeah, and Luda, the Russian girl, Ukrainian girl, I think I would say, stitching with Luda. Her husband and son, I think I mentioned that in my last floss tube, Jesus was describing <laughs> her when she's getting ready to stitch. And I was, you know, laughing. I was like seriously laughing out loud. And uh, it's not as funny, but uh, if I find the film, I will clip it in here and show you how my daughter uh, is showing how, yeah, she's like uh, doing her interpretation of me. <laughs> Not as funny as Luda's husband and son, but yeah, this is my daughter. Um... Who else? Oh, and Rachel Ray, um, she's uh, very much into diamond painting, which is why I found her a few years ago. But she's also a floss tuber and she's did, her stitching is amazing. She is having a challenge where she's going to stitch 100 hours and she has chosen her full coverage piece, The Rose which is in the heaven and earth design. Um, and sh she's gonna raise money for a fund uh, which will help um, abused women in America. I should have read up a little bit more on that, but um, I'm sure you all know Rachel Ray already, but if you don't, even if you do, head over and uh, support her challenge, I would say. Um, and she always has so many nice things to show uh, and talk about. It's very nice to listen to. I like that. Um, that was a lot of shout outs. Um, yeah Noah stitches he's been away for two months he finally released his next floss tube which was one and a half hours loved it loved it so head over and check him out as well enough with the shout outing and let's 
talk a little bit about home. And Laura Gr. Another shout out. Her channel is called that as well. Amazing, amazing lady. In the end, she enabled me. She's stitching one of these Borda Danut Adrian arts. And Crinkle time, crinkle, crinkle on floss tube. What does that mean to you? Ah, I thought it was going to be less glare, maybe like that. She's stitching one of these and that's an astronaut girl and she's looking at a pearl and they have these big big eyes and then Debbie over at creativity I will just insert the name her of her channel here because my oh, pronunciation sometimes just s-u-c-k um, she's stitching don't melt on me and it's the same, you know, the face with the big eyes and she's stitching a snowflake. They're so pretty. So I was like, well, the company is called Unconventional Cross Stitch. And Laura was talking about, you know, the different kind of art they had over there. So in the end, I was like, well, what can happen? I will go over and take a look, you know, and uh, the moment I saw this face, I was in love. Let's see. I was in love. Those eyes and her lips, the texture in her lips and those old fingers making that pattern And you know, the reflection you see there is a, such a fantastic piece. And this is a small family company in Australia. And well, it didn't take long to convince me to just get the complete kit. So I did that. And I cannot wait to start her. And uh, Kylie, um, I don't know if that's her real name, but Kylie over at Instagram, she doesn't have a floss tube, but over at Instagram, she has, first she started it and then she restarted it. So she has started stitching her and she has started in the eye. So that's just amazing. And you get the kit like this. So it is 25 count uh, grid. You can choose whatever count you like and then the colors so i'm very surprised there's these bright blue colors in there but uh it's going to be a joy to stitch her first i was thinking 10 stitching over 25 count or 28 count but since there's so many dark colors i might i think it might not be so good so i will go with the full cross And this package has this very, very um, dangerous thing. It's the glue, you know, where you open it. And where you're going to put down this again, it gets stuck, stuck on the glue and it will ruin it. So it's important to, you know, to pull it down. So that's one piece of haul, but not to forget. 
We added some. Let's have her beautiful face. Added some nice fun stuff. Uh, I got a tin like this, where you can have your needles and your needle minder and your needle threader in. I really like that, and they have put a cool sticker on it. And then you got a little bit of uh, some goodies. You got a color variated DMC. You never know when you can use this. And I got some stickers. I didn't mean to throw that. And here's my favorite sticker. It's mirrored, isn't it? Warning. Warning. And there's, there's this warning. I have the patience to stab something a thousand times. So be careful. Yeah, I like that one. Um, and I got a thank you card. Thank you so much for shopping with the unconventional X stitch. I hope you enjoy your purchase and to see you back again soon. My wallet doesn't hope that. And here's my needle mine. I could have just left it. It's a very strong Uh, magnet. There's the needle minder with her face. Very nice. It was a very sturdy magnet. And then you get um, needles and a needle threader. So I got one, two, three, four, six needles. Very nice. I must say, it's very, very nice. I'm very pleased. And it didn't take too long. I mean, I live in Sweden, so it's like almost on the other side of the world. <laughs> um, maybe a couple of weeks for them to gather the pack and sending from Australia. It, just, it didn't take long and it wasn't too expensive. So I'm very pleased. Another sip of coffee. Yeah. And then we have some other haul. You have already seen some of it. If you have seen my Mirabilia stash. So what I got was uh, the embellishment pack for at the Met. It's a lot of beads. And I got the pattern for that. Oh, she's so beautiful. And her like dress is full with beads. So I think here it is important to stitch on 28 count. And I got the embellishment pack for Shakespeare's fairies. Um, they have some very interesting uh, treasures. It's like leaves and they have some crystals as well and some flowers. It's very beautiful. And Shakespeare's uh, fairies looks like that. So I got the pattern not too long ago and I think it was Lisa stitching as, and such, stitching and such. She's an Australian lady and she said, go get the embellishment pack, all right? 
arts and arts and science has too. Go get it. So that's what I did. And then I got oh yeah. I didn't get this now, but there's the the Shakespeare's. I didn't want to uh, keep them apart with the embellishment pack. And lastly, I got Florentina, who I find so beautiful. She's so pretty, uh, but what catches my eye is this thing she's sitting on and the cat. I really like that. And I got the embellishment pack because this is one with, which I would like to stitch. So not too many uh, pearls in there. There's one big treasure. I don't think you can see that, but it's a big one. Uh, where does that sit? That would oh, it's on the cat's um, necklace here. Um, there's a little bit of krennic, but not too much. I think I would stitch this on thirty-two pound. Yeah. So. What should we start with? I got me some fancy floss for my stack series um, by Plum Street Samplers. Um, I tried to kit up some of them because as I said, I want to stitch all the things. So I might, you know, turn the wheel at some point where I stitch my smaller, you know, stuffs and some kits. I will get to that soon. So I got some of that and this is Week Style Works. And the thing is, so, fancy floss. I got the idea of kitting up my own chatelaine. And I chose the Russian window number one and it's so beautiful it is so so beautiful and i love you know photographs of windows and doors and it was a small chatelaine so i was thinking well there's not a lot of you know specialty threads and beads and i thought it was going to be the threads that would be difficult to get so i got this is, I can do like this actually, um, because I haven't figured out yet which thread goes to what. So it's this, the stack series, you know, with all the animals on top of each other from Plum Street. <coughs> and um, like classic color works, um, the silk lame and the treasure braid, um, weeks that works, and some dinky dies, some dinky dies. Um, I know there are some missing, they didn't have everything in stock. So, obviously, and then, you know, DMCs. There was a lot of DMC there. So, I will just grab a handful of DMC threads, right? Right. no problem i mean the only problem is that some of them wasn't in stock the silk floss but they are they're gonna get back so you know they will get here when they get here but then i went on a bead hunt oh my god it i'm, I'm telling you it's the first time and the last time i will ever kit up a shed lane myself i will always go for the kit even if it's a lot of money, I will, you know, save up for that or buy, you know, I don't think she has a layaway st system, but you can buy um, like vouchers or something and just then add all of them, for example. Um, but after a few days, constant searching, I needed three delicate beads and I needed three treasures and I hope this is correct I have no idea but I found the delicate beads 
in a Netherland store. Kalen, Kalen. Hmm. Yeah. I hope to God these are the right colors. I found these three. I had them in just a few days. Very fast. I'm so happy. Very nice. So, on the pattern, it says, yeah, Delica 31, 76, 7, 31. So, Delica bead 31. I hope this is correct. It doesn't say, you know, if it's gold or anything. And we have the Delica 1761. So, she, this was the only place I had. I've searched in Sweden, I've searched in Europe, I searched in the States, I searched in Australia, I searched everywhere. I couldn't find it but there. So I'm not complaining because this fit me very well. Anyway, and 1763. But then we were going to get the Swarovski crystals. Now that was something different. Yeah, because now all of a sudden you don't have a number to follow. You only have like a color name. And I was like, eh, it's going to be so simple. Uh -uh. No, no. And, and I still, I don't know if it's, you know, if, I've chosen the correct colors. I've searched and I searched and I found some places that had one and then one place had two and you know the shipping was like insane and then it was out of stock and blah 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 and I was like I don't know I don't know how I don't know how I ended up on Etsy but I found a place there who had all the three, which I think, colors I wanted. And it is Crystal AB. So it's not just Crystal and it's not Crystal AB times two. I have learned through Sharky Stitcher, I will talk a little bit more about her soon. Uh, I learned through her a little bit about the beads. And maybe I need to do like this. Maybe it's still going to be too much white. Yeah, you see how you have the AB layer here. Very nice. And you have it just on one side of the crystal. If I understand this correctly. But she had that. And then I needed Rosal, Rosal Gold. Rosal Gold. I think actually this has a little bit of... This is the Rosal Gold. Ah! Oh, it's beautiful! It's so cool. I think it was called Rose Gold, but Rosal Gold. And then the last one was... On the pattern it says Light Peak. P-E-A-C. And I was like, is it peacock color? Is it a bluish color? So I was looking for that first. But every time I search for light peak, it chose light peach with A, B times two. So maybe this is the correct one. But I hope so. So here are the A, B cover or layer is like on both sides of the crystal and I was like yay it wasn't expensive and when she shipped I saw that it was from India of all places in the world is from India and I was thinking it's never gonna get here but it did pretty fast actually I don't know two weeks maybe I think it was pretty fast fast from India so I'm very pleased so now I have almost a fully kitted 
Chatelaine, the framed Russian window number one. And it's going to be so beautiful. Well, I don't have, I ha have some 32 count even weave somewhere. So I think I will choose that. Um, and I know that there are some of the silks, maybe two still missing, but otherwise it is fully fitted. But first and last time, never again. And it's amazing how my white skin can just blow out the light in the camera. <laughs> so that's that. Now, another shout out is, of course, Sharky Stitcher. I have binge, binge watched, binge watched her, all her floss tube videos. I think she started out last year. Uh, she, you know, sends uh, a video, not very regularly, but they're coming. And she loves Chatelaine, she loves Bella Filipina, she loves Mirabilia. And Lavender and Lace, and I think Teresa Wensler. And... She talks and shows a lot of her beats and stuff. It's very nice to see. Oh, and she loves Ki Clay by Kim, too. She's collecting those needle minders, and they're so beautiful. Uh, but uh, she, you know, has a free speech. So if you don't like that, then maybe you don't go watch. But I really enjoy her ch uh, channel, so head over to her. Um, yeah, especially, you know, if you want to hear a lot about, you know, the beats and stuff. And she shows how she's beating. So all of you guys has been asking for how I bead. I will, of course, show you once I get to, you know, beading and specialty stitches and all that. I will show you. Absolutely. Um, but uh, she shows it pretty nice. Um, she also shows how you fix a hole in your weave in your fabric which was very nice i didn't know so i learned something new that was very nice um so that's that um yeah and uh, if you guys want to uh, support me in my channel there is a buy me a coffee link down in the subscription box no not subscription in this description box it's not necessary it's very very appreciated though um, if you want to you know uh, get rid of some mirabilias reach out uh, by email you can find it also in the description box or send me a person um, a pm on instagram i'm ronja with two j's 76 um, i always appreciate every single comment i get uh, some of you guys send me email and share with me and i love that so don't stop um if you're new don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell give me a thumbs up you don't have to but if you don't want to miss anything <laughs> oh i'm so bad at that um yeah let's stop talking let's get back to stitching have a very nice day see you soon bye, bye.